What's up guys, Matacaster here, and uh, where do I even begin? You guys are amazing. This channel has just taken off. The support is absolutely, it's mind-blowing. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you how much. I truly appreciate it. It's amazing. You, you guys are probably, you, well, you have been asking, but you're probably wondering where I've been. Well, I've been pretty tied up, pretty busy. Um, I think I've mentioned that I uh, restore classic cars in real life and work on cars in real life. And I got hired to re uh, restore 1962 unibody, Ford F100 unibody, and I had to finish up my truck to be able to fit in my garage to be able to get started on it. Actually, let's just jump to some uh, in-garage footage to kind of uh, show you and explain a little bit. So I've mentioned before in my videos that I restore classic cars in real life, and this is a truck I'm building myself. It's a 1961 Ford F100. A uh, unibody. These were kind of rare because the bed is all one piece to the cab. There's no separation there. But yeah, this is a shop truck I'm building myself. Pretty much got it all wrapped up. This is why I've been gone for so long, guys. Why I haven't uploaded in quite a while. Because I'm just trying to get this thing completely wrapped up. And it's getting very, very close. Still need to upholster the seat and put in the windshield. But this thing looks a lot different than it did when I drug it out of the farmer's field a year or so ago. Uh, it's really come a long way, but yes, I've been very busy with that. On the chopping block next, 1931 Model A five window coupe that I'm gonna be hot rodding. And then back there is a 1966, it's kind of turned into a workbench now, Ford Mustang convertible. So there's been a few people that have commented uh, you know, about the car mechanic simulator. Why don't you just get out there and do it in real life? Well, here is proof that I do. And here is the 1962 unibody that I will be doing for the customer. He wants it left patina, so I think that'll be pretty cool. It's gonna look, look good. It's got some good patina on it. So yeah, that pretty much tied up the last uh, couple months for me, being able to try to get that done, buttoned up to be able to have this started over the winter time on this new truck and get that done for him for springtime, which is his goal and my goal as well. So. That being said, that's what took up the majority of the time. I'm safe, uh, I didn't die, anything like that, and I appreciate you guys that reached out. I'm doing just fine. Actually kind of enjoying, gonna enjoy uh, being able to get back to Car Mechanic Simulator. So, that being said, guys, again, this is unbelievable. We've surpassed 15,000, 15,500 as of recording right now. Uh, it just blows my mind that uh there's that that much support and i have you guys to thank for it and it's truly is humbling and truly appreciated that being said let's go find us a car see what we can find probably hit up a barn or an auction see if i remember how to play this game <laughs> it's been some time uh we got two barns and the junkyard of course and we've always got the auction let's just uh jump into a barn why not Let's, we can clear the board of the barns. We'll find more barns. They'll pop up over time. So I'm not too worried about that. Guys, I truly hope you're doing well. I really am. This is, it looks like uh, things are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel out there. Uh, we need it. That's for sure. But I truly hope you're doing well. All right. And here we are. So I am going to rifle through all this stuff because it is often where you will find the maps to other barns. But I'll skip ahead in case if I find anything good, I'll show you. Yeah, nothing really crazy in here. Oh, we've got another Corvette, a C1. We have done one or two of these. Open here. Yeah, we've done one or two of these. They're all right. They bring decent money. Uh, there's been some guys that have pointed out that I have been playing it wrong, doing it wrong. And that I should 100% all of this stuff when I restore it. So I'll start doing that. Say they said I was missing out on some money. I appreciate that to letting me know. Because uh, I don't know everything. So I definitely appreciate it uh, when you reach out. And let me know about something like that. Something I'm missing. We got a lot of swap options with this car. A lot of swap options. But we did just do one not that long ago. I would do it if it was a this particular mod has a gasser option and I've been waiting to find that car but have not found it yet there is another continental we just did a continental 
Well, I didn't just do it because it's been a been a little while because I've been gone for a while. But yeah, we just did one of these not that long ago. I love it. It looks really good. And I think that one slammed. Yeah, it's on the ground. But as cool as that is, we just uh, just did that. Check out what's in here. Yeah, not much. Oh, what do we have here? Is this like a Bugatti type thing? Bugatti indeed. Get some info on this. Is it even within our price range? Not even close. But this is really cool. No swap options. Inline six overhead valve. 145 horsepower. Not a lot of horsepower, but not a lot of weight either. That thing would be a lot of fun to drive around, but I wish we could afford it. Love those boat tail speedsters. So cool. And Bugatti, their history and everything is just amazing. Someday, someday we will own that car. There's just not much for us here today, and that's fine. Sometimes you strike out. I wouldn't call finding a C1 and a Continental and a Bugatti striking out, but we didn't get to bring anything home, which is all right. I did find a crate, and I'll take that back, and we'll figure out what's in there. Back to the garage. Let's check out what's in this case. See if we got a map for any barn finds. We did not. That's all right. But often you will find them in there. Let's collect those items. Cool. And we got those. I probably want to save the next barn for our next video. There's just something I think more, more fun about doing the barns. I don't want to do them all, all in the last two in one video. So let's head to the junkyard to see what we got there. And we have arrived at the junkyard to see what we can find. What do I see over there? Ooh, something we probably can't afford. I'll just start in the corner over here. It really looks like something we can't afford. Uh, been meaning to get to one of these eventually. They're not bad. It's, it's one of the uh, cars that comes with the game. The Bolt Roulette. A lot of swap options there. I'll keep it in the back of my mind. It's really rough. I mean, it needs everything. And then uh, we've got what, like a knockoff of an LTD here? Yeah, you know, the Bolt Chapman F Mill. Great six. Mm. Nothing that uh, really gets me excited. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, I can tell you we're not going to be able to afford it. Well, 94583 But could we restore it? With the money that we have looking at looking at how bad it actually is it is an aston martin dbr1 Aventa. oh it's not even a real one it's a replica a replica would not be that much money but it is nice at least i wouldn't think it would bring that kind of money even if it is aluminum body which i'm guessing if it's a replica it's probably fiberglass but who knows it is nice. I don't know, for $100,000 though, there's a lot more we could do, I would think. Anything back here, not seeing anything. See what's back here, nothing. Is there anything? Nope, nothing down here today. Man. Not much of a honey hole here today, huh? I mean, if anything, we could go back to the parking garage and get started on one of those things that are that have always been meaning to get to. What is that? It's a go kart with a seat on it, essentially. What's it supposed to be? Oh, a C10, 66. I love those C10s. We did do one not long ago, not a whole long time ago. I would do another one, but I would start with one a little more complete. How much do I even want for that? Four thousand one hundred fifty-four. Eh. Suppose, suppose you can make money on that, but uh, I'm not I'm not your guy on that one. Yeah, that looks like that's going to be it here today. Not much doing at the junkyard. I think we do one round at the auction, see if we find anything, and uh, we'll peek in here, see if there's anything worth. Yeah, there's some, there's the Aston Martin stuff there, but it's in really bad shape. Yeah, not a whole lot there. We could do one round of the auction, see uh, if there's anything that really gets us excited. And if not, we'll jump over to the parking garage and get started on one of those cars that we've got there. You know what? I lied. I'm, I'm going to save the auction for the next time. Let's go to the garage and pick something. All right. So we are here. We've got the uh, Willis Jeep. We've got the Charger. 
Yeah, we've got that thing. I always forget. What's the name of it? Hold it. Yeah, the Holden. Duh. That's right. That thing is really cool. I do like it. And then this is the knockoff of uh, the Toyota. Oh, their, their first, like, real sports car, sports car. The 2000. And then we've got this kind of a... Uh, I still don't know if I like this thing or not, or if I'm even going to do anything with it. I know a few of you have commented that you do like it. But it's just not my style. It is definitely... Oh, it's got hydraulics. I don't think I ever knew, noticed. I don't think I ever knew this had hydraulics. Very interesting. The engine... Oh, that's why I kept it. Yeah, 572. That would be why. But yeah, this thing is definitely an acquired taste with the gold trim like this. Let's take the Bel Air. If anything, to see what we can make out of it. If we can make anything really cool out of it. Uh, and to get it out of here. <laughs> Maybe I'll fall in love with it. That has definitely happened before. Now this lists as 235 horsepower and 320 foot-pound of torque. With a 572, you would have probably almost triple that, if not at least double that. But uh, yeah, interesting there. Let's move it to the garage. Man, this thing is rough just uh, off of this alone. Let's move it to the garage. Let's get going on uh, polishing up a turd. So here we are. I figure first comes to first, this is probably, it might run. Let's find out. Ah, uh, it's a cover. It's an engine cover. This is what's underneath. I got swindled. Well, that would be why. That makes a lot more sense. A 572 would have a lot more horsepower than that. Okay. Well, how about that? What can we put in it? Is my question. Swap options. Nothing. Guys, I'm not feeling so great about this car all of a sudden. But I said we'd do it. I'm a man of my word. So let's do it. That engine is not going to run. I, bear, I pretty much guarantee you. But let's give it a shot. Compression tester, yeah. Engine needs to be completed. Maybe it's just as simple as the air filter cover. Either way, let's just move it over to car lifter A. Let's get those parts put in. Coil. Fuel filter. And we'll get this exhaust manifold on here. Then we'll see if we can get this thing running. Of course, we'll put some oil in it. All right, we got all that. Let's see if now we can do a compression test. We can. Kind of don't want to know what it found. Uh, yeah, the block's bad. Well, we'll find out if we can repair that. There's some, it's not, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not terrible. So, I think it's definitely rebuildable. Since we don't have any swap options for this particular car. I wonder if these will work. <laughs> I highly doubt it. But I got all this nice, uh, nice hydraulics with a random old jack. Is that what that is? It looks like one of those old, old school jack. Oh, might as well get this engine out of here. Get going on this. Remove our exhaust here. At least the front part here. Hey, it feels good to be back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I've missed it and I've missed you guys for sure. Let's take our drive shaft off. I haven't been able to always stay on top of the comments. I try to get to them. Like I said, I've been so busy, but I appreciate all the comments. I apologize if I haven't gotten to yours. I get a lot of them, which is very flattering it's awesome but if i haven't got to yours i apologize and we are ready to pull this engine go get our cherry picker move you to lifter a pull out now we have our engine, we can go stick it on the stand. There we go. And you can go back to where you came from. All right, I'm gonna take out the 
go ahead and take out the radiator and stuff. I'm going to repair what I can and put back anything that I need to. Just under the hood stuff there. See what we can repair out of this. Well, we repaired the clutch. How about that? Let's put back what... Oh, I want to... I'm going to find the way to charge the battery again. You guys pointed out I can charge the battery. Let's figure out how to do that. Is it this thing? I bet it's this thing. It is. Okay. Charge battery. Yes, that one. Oh, that is so cool. How did I go this long without knowing that that was there? Oh, goodness. All right. Let's put some stuff some of our repaired things in the brake master cylinder which they call a brake servo radiator did we yes we did repair that very nice okay now we can get on to tearing down this engine let's see what we can work with here let's just start from the top and work our way down Carburetor off. Intake manifold. Get you out of here. I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy with this engine. It's a cruiser. I don't want to do every engine I build on this uh, game performance, you know, like all out. Go in realistic terms. Let's get these off. Rocker arm. I do like the Mopar ones that are all just one one set. That's always handy. Get that one. Two more. All right, push rods out. And the last one. Perfect. Let's get this head off of here. Oh, we need to take the manifold off. That's all right. And probably plug wires. Would make sense, wouldn't it? Get those off. And then we can take our spark plugs out. Tell you, it does feel good to be back. I've been missing this game. Not near as uh, dirty as doing it in real life. Let's go ahead and remove the clips. And often not nearly as frustrating when you come across. There's no, there's no seized bolts or stripped threads in this game, which eventually I would think they. I mean, that's part of the fun. I get. I don't know if it'd be fun. That's part of the process of restoring a classic car. I have seen you guys ask for more modern cars. I'll definitely be doing those too. I just uh, haven't come across a whole lot of them. Came across that Supra, which was awesome. But once we start going, the next time I think we'll be doing the auction. It seems like I find more modern cars at the auction and more classic cars in the barns and in the junkyard. All right. Gonna take apart the other side. See you... Uh, you after the time lapse. All right. Now we can rotate this thing over and get get to the piston. Guess first, got to take the oil pan off. Motor looks a little rough. A lot of carbon. A lot of rust. But we could save it, I imagine. A pretty good success rate with uh, repairing stuff, even in the red now. Part of one of the perks that you can unlock is getting a better success rate and being able to repair stuff that's even in pretty bad condition.
in our crankshaft bearing caps off of here, and then the crankshaft should come right out. There we go. And take the block off. And here will be our moment of truth to see what can and cannot be repaired. I'm just going to fly through these. Check afterwards. I like getting quite a bit of it repaired. Okay. Survey says we will need these front exhaust sections. No big deal. Get a clutch release bearing, pressure plate, flywheel, air filter, upper intake manifold. Then we will need one, two, let's go ahead and add them two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What do you know? At least on that side. And I'll just do all 16 push rods and all 16. How about that? We'll just replace them all. We will need ignition wires, spark plugs, obviously, riveter, serpentine belt, water pump pulley. Ooh, our water pump is really shot. Yeah, it's gonna get all new with that. Timing chain was bad. Cam gear was bad. Obviously, an oil filter, piston, piston rings, and rod end caps. Just get all new of those. I know I got a couple in here that are in good shape, but no big deal. Well, I guess we only need, really only need, one. That's all we need. One. Cool. Well, that works. And a block. We weren't able to save the block. Looks like we got them all. I'm sure I missed something, but I'm used to that. Add engine to create. There's no items to work with. Oh yeah, we gotta build the build it out new. That's right. V8 overhead valve. One car overhead valve. There you are. And there it is. Beautiful brand new block and our freshened up Craig all new pistons and rings get all these installed now we can flip it back over Get to the good stuff. Start building out the front end, why not? Let's start there. Get our cam shaft in, and then our cam gear. Timing chain. Got our new distributor. Oh yeah, I need probably, probably want to put the timing chain cover on it. I don't think I bought a water pump. I think I just now realized I forgot to buy a water pump. We'll see, maybe I did. I forgot to buy a water pump. How about that? Let's finish out the distributor with the cap and then put the clips on now because I know I'll forget. And then we'll get a water pump. Go over here. V8 overhead valve water pump. There you are. And on you go. Water pump pulley, I know I bought a new one of those. Get our crankshaft pulley, I know I got that one too. Alternator, get that on there. Power steering pump. Wonder how long it takes those batteries to, for the battery to charge. That is so cool now, now that I know that. I probably would have saved myself a lot of money over time. Had I known that earlier. See, this is why I appreciate it when you guys point out, hey, idiot, you're not doing this right. Go over and check on it, see what the deal is. Take battery from charger. 
Recharge battery will be added to your inventory. Not charged, is it? Like all the way back. It's up here, isn't it? It is. That is so cool. Go ahead and throw that in there while I'm thinking about it. There you go. So cool. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate that. Get the heads put on. Glad I was able to repair these because that block costs a lot of money. I think it was like $2,200 just to get this new block. And all new push rods. And we'll see what the profit margin is on this thing with the uh, quite expensive engine build we've got going here and we're not even doing anything overly impressive. Had that block been repairable, that would have been nice, but can't win them all, can you? Not going to cry about it. I think we'll at least make something. I'm sure we will. Now that I know also, thanks to you guys, like I mentioned earlier, fix all the glass, get everything to 100%, and then that greatly bumps up the restoration value and in turn a better return on investment this is probably all written in directions or instructions somewhere but I'm not a big fan of reading those did I get spark plugs I did I love that All right, gonna get to the other side. Here we go. All right, now we can put our wires on. Upper intake manifold. Oh, I just keep saying upper intake manifold. Force the habit. I was able to repair that carburetor. I sure was. How about that? Very nice. I know I got a new air filter. There you are. And cover. We are pretty much there. Throw on our new flywheel right here. Why not? All right, that's our engine. Very nice. Very pretty. I like it. Looks great to me. Do we want to go ahead and throw it in the car now? I suppose so. No better time than now. Take this off the stand. Carry it <laughs> to the cherry picker and then there it goes. You can go back and we've got our beautiful engine in here. Very dece deceiving. We've got that 572 cover that goes over the top of it for whatever reason. Okay, so now let's move on to suspension. I do not like these wheels at all. We'll be changing these out. That is for sure. I think it may be like a set of Supremes or something. I think they have something in here like that that look like Supreme. Yeah, this all looks pretty crusty. As to be expected. The bearing out of there. The hub off. Steering knuckle cover. Get shock out while we're there. The upper suspension arm. Take care of our front end link. Lower control arm. Get our outer tie rod all the way right here. Well, it's right in our face. Inner tie rod. Then our knuckle. That's looking good. And hop to the other side. Do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and take out this cross member. We can take our steering rack off and our sway bar off. These rubber bushings out of here. That one way over there. 
get you. Yeah, 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 I gotta go around to the other side to get the last one. We can pull that out of there. There you are. And pull that out. Just putting the shock assembly together here. Got all the parts we needed. Grab that. And we are good to build the front of this thing out. Replace everything. Pretty much. Replaced or repaired. So, we want to put in our cross member. Let's get those rubber bushings taken care of now. At least on this side. There we go. Now we can mount our steering knuckle. To our lower arm. You need a dozen rubber bushings for the front end of this thing. It seems like that. That's the way it is most on the on most of the classic cars on here. A lot of rubber bushings. Install our shock that we just built out or assembled. Go ahead and throw our sway bar in now and our steering rack. Put our front end link B there. Where do we go now? Okay. Yep. Again, it's been a while. Feels good to be. Feels good to be back. But I've forgotten some of this stuff. Get our new disc brake disc on there. New pads. And get a caliper. That I'll put together. Cool. I'm not gonna worry about uh Installing the uh, wheel just yet. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of them. we're gonna get some much better wheels and those wire wheels. Just not digging that at all. On to the other side. I almost forgot. Rubber bushing. Right there. And right there. Fantastic. On to the rear end. Pull this all apart. Oh, it's cool. They've got the, uh, the actual... Oh, that comes off like that. Okay. Get this wheel off here. Yeah, those wire wheels are just not doing anything for me. Not at all. I love the simplicity of these old solid axle rear ends back here, drum brakes and all that. In real life, I don't like the drum brakes too much. Don't care for them too much in the front. I don't mind them in the back. Of course, you're not using them a whole lot for stopping power. Drum brakes on the front have never been a thing I've enjoyed a whole lot. <laughs> you get them, you have to get them adjusted just right so it doesn't wander all over the road when you hit them. Get the brakes good. Start pushing you towards the ditch. You guys that have driven drum brake cars and trucks, you know what I'm talking about. Part of the charm, I suppose. But also, is it for daily driving? It's, eh, it gets old. But I've done it. You know, I've done it for years. Daily drove a drum brake. I'm sure this is very interesting for you guys. <laughs> Just me going on some random old story. All right. Get this off of here. These small rubber bushings. We're going to need four of those for sure. This leaf spring out of here. And shock absorber B. And we should be able to pull out the axle housing. And we are. We'll go ahead and pull out the fuel pump and tank right now. Got everything we need for the exhaust. Get that all in place. Start up front. Get to the other one. Middle muffler. All brand new and shiny. Much better than what came off of there. Awesome. Now on to body stuff. Which... This is in bad shape. <laughs> it's rough. Now, I thought the welder fixed, like, 
quarter panels. Oh, oh, that explains that then. Let's just take all this up. There go the hydraulics. We're down to, oh, this comes apart very interestingly. Hmm, okay. Oh, and somebody pointed out too, I should replace, wow, replace the, or put license plates on there too. That's one thing I wasn't always doing. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about steering wheel just yet. That's an interior body thing. So we will need to order a driver's seat. Okay, let's see what we can repair. Looking in here, there's a lot of stuff for a drag car and we're definitely gonna hunt that down. We're gonna, or build us a drag Bel Air. That would be awesome. So that's definitely gonna happen. But for now, we're just gonna start putting this stuff back together. Front left fender with the gold. Now I know we need a front left door. No, we've got that. See, that's why I wanted to put this stuff on here now before guessing and then ending up with stuff we don't need. Get our 100% front window on there now. There's no hood. We will need a hood. Okay. Let's get these covers on. The gold trim. This gold is just interesting. Very, very interesting. That on there. It could look good with some colors. Maybe black? We'll play with it and see what we come up with. Left tail light. Rear left door, fuel door, I believe that is. Right tail light. And that looks good there. We'll get some license plates soon. Get the rear window in. Put that all together. Front right door, that's what we were missing. In a hood. We put all this in, yeah. Put that engine cover. <laughs> the very deceiving engine cover. We get our front bumper on. I know we have, yep, yeah, got that. I always forget, you guys know, I always forget something on here. But we know we need front right door and a hood. Anything else that stands out right away. Left side mirror, so we will need mirrors. This door was $1,800. It's massive. Okay, so we will need front right door window. That is in. And got our mirrors. Put our hood on. Starting to look complete. Let's pick out our license plates. Oh, uh, what do we got here? We got a lot to choose from. I want, hmm, let's do something. A lot of good ones to choose from. How about we just do, let's go Arizona. I like Arizona. Do two of these. Enter license plate number. I'm not doing anything. I'm just making something up. I'm not doing anything fancy. 1800. Oh my goodness. Figure I'm not going to do a personalized plate on every single car. Let us put our Arizona plate on. They don't have a set of rims that even look like Supremes, which would look really good on this car. Kind of fit that aesthetic of that lowrider look. But they don't even have anything close, which is sad. That's a very popular wheel, too. And would have looked good on here. I mean, these here, the rim, Rims Retro 11, they kind of look like them. I'm not seeing a whole lot else that would look real good with the situation that we're working with here. Yeah, let's go with these. 
to four. What size do we want to do? Because in the traditional type, especially like the mid 90s style, lowriders would have pretty small, small wheels. I don't want it to be ridiculous, you know what I mean? Maybe do set up. And you're getting with these type of wheels, you get into 18s, it just looks a little awkward. Let's go with the 16. Let's do that. Purchase. Now we gotta find some tires. I do like the white walls that came on it. I like the white wall style. Maybe this thin kind of white wall style. That's a very low rider type. Especially that kind of mid 90s when they were putting a lot of gold and stuff on them. But the uh, vintage white wall C is nice too. But we'll go with the A. That fits the style better. We want four, 16. I don't want to go too skinny. That's a little too skinny. We'll say 225. 60. I think 60 would be a good good balance. Maybe, maybe a little, hmm. Let's go 50. 60 could get a little too balloony. Okay, time to mount and balance some tires. See how this came out. Install, yeah, those look good. That's a nice little balance. Not too extreme one way or another. And balance. I'll be standing here for a while doing just that. Let's install our goods. We would have to take that off in real life, but maybe in here it will let me. Yells. All right. Well, that looks good. Can't really see it, <laughs> but it looks good. I had somebody finally comment, you need to go on a star pattern on your lug nut. I don't know if he was actually being serious. I like that. That looks good. Uh, but it cracked me up because I, yeah, I, I think about that every time I do that. Let's see if we can do it here. Yeah, there we go. It just takes longer. But it's safer. There you go. All right, let's get this last. Last one on here. Just go NASCAR style on that one. Take it down to the ground. And hold it down. Not bad. I like it. It is low. It is low, low. I like it. Let's take care of that. Move it over to the entrance over here and take care of the interior that needs to be addressed. We definitely need front left seat for sure. Let's get the interior cleaned. Well, let's get the front left seat ordered first. Get our seats in here. Brand new. And I got a new steering wheel, even though that one was a 99. 99%. I went with the 100%. That's not what I want to do. Okay, let's see where we're at now. Car status. 100%, 100%, 100%. Everything here is showing 100%. That's going to give us a restoration bonus of 4,476. Current car value is 22,382. I'm not sure we're going to make a ton of money on this thing. We put a lot of money into the restoration of that engine and this body. Like the door alone was $2,000. Let's get it painted. See if that helps anything out. I am sure it will. I think it would have to, right? What to do? this color maybe there's some liveries that will present an option no liveries on this Bel Air 
Again, black might look good with the uh, gold. Oof, that is interesting. I don't hate it. I'm just not crazy about it. Like a dark maroon metallic. We could do like a matte. The pearl. Pearl looks good. Chameleon. Dark maroon chrome. Oh, that's kind of cool. It kind of fits the lowrider vibe. See what other kind of colors we can work with here in this kind of. Ooh, the purple. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm getting it. Ooh, the green is nice. This is actually not horrible. Maybe you guys were onto something. A lot of you guys like the gold. It does work well with purple. And it does work well with green. Hmm. I think that's it. That's the color of money right there. I like it. Okay, paint the car. <laughs> it's not necessarily my style, but I dig it. Somebody said you can paint the wheels. I'm curious how that works. Paint part. That is locked. Okay, that would... I'm going to have to figure out how to unlock that. I wonder if that's in the tool chest. Anyways, we got to move this thing over to the dyno and see what... See what we're... Uh, power numbers are. Move car. There we go. Dyno. Will it run? <laughs> Actually, that doesn't look horrible, guys. That looks like a show car. For sure. Yeah, any bigger on the wheels would have looked a little weird. Not with this uh, type of car, the lowrider look that we're going with here. That kind of 90s lowrider look. I remember I used to get lowrider magazine back in the 90s. And they had the, I was really into the bikes, the lowrider bikes. <laughs> they had those in there too. So we are at 235 horsepower, 320 foot pound torque. Nothing to scoff at. It's a nice little cruiser, ain't it? Works for me. All right, let's move you to car, not car lifter, A. Eh? Definitely shines. Definitely shines. Move you to the entrance. That's what I wanted. Definitely gonna have to take this thing out for a drive. Not too bad. Again, not totally my. This is more my style. This is a little over the top, <laughs> but it's you know it's each their own. Nothing wrong with it. Let's take it out to the abandoned airport. It's got pep. I'd say it's peppy. There we go. Let's say that. It's not bottoming out as bad as the other lowriders that I've done. Or the other slammed vehicles that I've done. Of course, we're going to J-turn. I've looked, and I can't find any buttons to make the <laughs> hydros work. You guys know. I think it's I think it's all for show. But it'd still be cool if I uh, do a little three-wheel action or something like that. Yeah, not awful. Let's take it out to the... Uh, the drag strip, see what it does there. Bounce it off the limiter, and we're off. It's got good low end torque. Took off pretty good. That is definitely a wild color. It's pretty cool though, how it, how it is modeled in the clouds and everything like that. The reflection on the chrome paint job is very cool. We are hitting 118, 121, 22, 24, 25. It's got a pretty wide final gear. 130, 131 I think I saw. Not bad at all. All right, let's get it cleaned up for the future owner. Since I sat in it. Did J-turns and whatnot. <laughs> I don't know if it really makes a difference. Yes, let's clean it. Okay, I think we've done pretty much everything we can possibly do 
If, if not, let me know because you guys have helped me out in that. To make this thing sell for as much as it can. And let's see what that final number is going to be. Everything here is saying 100%. We're looking good here. Got license plates on it. Got some mirrors on it. Got taillights on it. Got the exhaust on it. Things that I have forgotten in the past or overlooked. Let me do one more wa walk around and make sure everything is in order. Mirrors on. Taillights on. Fuel door. That little guy is on. License plates. Good. Check. Got a mirror here. Windows. Are all there. Time to sell. See what we made. Sell car for twenty six thousand eight hundred and fifty eight. That's better. Yeah, that, that'll work. Obviously, I'm not gonna keep that thing around too long. It's not my. It's not my. Not my cup of tea. All right, so. Let's see how much we made here. I don't actually know. I'll do the I'll do the math and throw it up here right now. I have a feeling we didn't make much. I don't th actually hold on. I need to sell off my inventory of the leftover parts. Then I'll redo the then I'll do the math. Hang on. I'll take care of this real quick. Okay, so I got all the uh, parts sold off, and we are now at 278,806, so here is the mathematical difference. Here is the profit that we made on this car. Again, I don't think it's going to be much if we made anything. I kind of think maybe we lost money on this one, which, hey, it happens. It happens. We shall see. But guys, thank you so much. I can't even begin to say how appreciative I am of all the support, the thumbs up, the likes, everything. It really, it makes a difference. The, the, all the new subscribers, welcome. Glad to have you here. Sorry it took me so long to get a video out. Shouldn't have big, long waits between videos from now on. That was just a little too long. But guys, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.